Hey, I'm Johnny Ferrance here with Singular Agronomics, excited to bring to you a series more on carbon to nitrogen ratio. We talk about humic acids with, with fertilizer applications. Hey, we're here to talk about carbon and nitrogen ratio. Uh, before we dive deeper into this series, maybe just talk about what carbon to nitrogen ratio means and maybe why should we worry about it. Uh, so carbon to, reach, to nitrogen ratio is how many parts carbon to parts nitrogen. So if you have 100 parts carbon and 10 parts nitrogen, okay, that would be a 10 to one ratio. Now what this ratio tells us is based on the amount of carbon in the soil, what could happen with our nutrients and or uh, what's going on with the biology. So this first video, we're gonna really focus on when our carbon to nitrogen ratio is low and what that means to us as producers. Okay, so when I think of a carbon to nitrogen ratio that is low, I look at anything below 10 to one. Now, if we get down to eight to one, seven to one, these are situations that our microbial populations, their activity starts decreasing down substantially. Um, also, during that time, your bacteria will thrive from that 10 to one to nine to one. But once you get down to that seven to one, even bacteria start slowing down. And for us to cycle nutrients and making sure that they are available, we need to make sure that we keep that carbon to nitrogen ratio at least above 10. In my perfect world, I like it at 12 or slightly higher. Now, how do we figure this out? I mean, you can go through many different types of soil tests, the Haney test, to look at this carbon to nitrogen ratio number and also making sure that our biology have a food source because that's what happens with our carbon. See, carbon is made for the food source and then nitrogen's used as the building blocks, the protein sources for that, for that microorganism, but then also our plant. So that's why both of these elements are so important to the crop, but on the same token, we gotta make sure that they are balanced. So if we are below that 10 to one, or even creep into that eight to one, what it tells me is we need to lower the amount of nitrogen that we apply at any given time. The reason why is the more nitrogen we put into that system, the tighter that carbon to nitrogen ratio gets. Also, we talk about humic acids helping with our nitrogen to help apply that carbon. Um, I mean, we could talk about this pasture here. I mean, your fibrous root crops are gonna be able to help bring up that carbon to nitrogen ratio. Thank you for tuning in. The three big things, we're talking about a low carbon to nitrogen ratio. First off, if we're below 10 to one, okay, we need to make sure that we're watching that number so we don't get down to eight to one. Also, if we're currently there, we need to make sure that we're spreading out our nitrogen applications to help to keep that in check. But then also look at things like cover crops, humic acids, ways to get carbon back into that profile. Thanks for joining us. Guys, thanks for watching the content so far. We've got a whole lot more on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, uh, YouTube. Subscribe there. We put a ton of content on there that's, that's useful and have applicable information to help on your farms and day-to-day -day life. So go ahead, hop over there. If you want more information, check us out there.